There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was the Billy Oti. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below me. Bully boys blow. Soon may the weathermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She'd not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her. All hands in the side harpooned and fought her when she dived down low. Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. No line was cut, no whale was freed. The captain's mind was not on greed, but he belonged to the whaleman's creed. She took that ship in tow. <gasps> Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. For forty days or even more, the line went slack and tight once more. Our boats were lost. There were only four, and still that whale did go. <gasps> Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on. The line's not cut and the whale's not gone. The wellerman makes his regular call to encourage the captain, crew, and all. Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave. What is going on today, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, all right. Here we are on this lovely Thursday evening tonight. I know a lot of you guys are out there probably grabbing yourself some dinner, getting some food. I know you're feeling it. <laughs> oh, man. I know I'm going to be hungry after this, too. Yo, today, um, we are going to be actually playing a little bit of the game Hellblade. I'm going to continue my playthrough there. I had started this playthrough over on the old purple platform, as it were, when I was streaming over there. But I decided I would continue it over here uh, because I feel like... Um, as far as love of narratives in video games and things like that and the stories they tell, I feel like there might be a wider audience for that sort of thing over here. Uh, Twitch has a lot of really fantastic uh, gamers over there, but I don't know. I feel like narrative-based gaming isn't necessarily as uh, impactful uh, over on that platform, uh, at least from my own experiences. I don't know. And obviously that's a biased, you know, it's, it's, it's anecdotal. Like it doesn't prove anything, but, but I do think that, um, I do think I did want to try it over here and kind of see what's going on, see what people think of it over on this side of things. So hopefully you enjoy this little trip that we're going to go on into uh, the mind of someone who is going mad and trying to find a lost loved one. And it's really compelling, a fantastic story full of action. There's a lot of adventure, intrigue, the way that uh, Norse mythology is woven into the game and the lore is rich and so full of history. And you learn about these sort of like there's different stories that are happening simultaneously alongside the narrative that surrounds the main character. And because of that, I really am enjoying this game. I'm hoping that it ends well. And I wanted to experience that ending with whoever wants to be a part of it, whether it's uh, whether, you know, you've played the game before is your first time playing through uh, any of those people, anybody who wants to check this out. Now, they're probably obviously there's going to be spoilers. We're playing through the game. I don't know what happens, uh, so we definitely want to keep everything as spoiler-free as possible. Um, but if you're here, then yes, please feel welcome. Hop on in. Enjoy. And uh, yeah, we're going to be hopping into it here. So let me let me get this game launching. Mm -hmm. Don't need that. Close that. Close this. Open this. Uh -huh. Play. <clears throat> yeah, we will be continuing 
arc, arc scorched earth is going to be continuing. It's not going to be continuing today. I mean, unless we finish this like really quick within like an hour and a half, two hours, then I'll hop into, um, then we'll hop into, uh, some arc probably on scorched earth. Continue the arc, arc scorched earth solo survival series that I'm doing. Still in the process of trying to build up and make a, uh, make my T-Rex army so I can go fight the Manticore. So that still needs to be done. Let's get this over the game screen. Enough of that screen. We need a better screen. There we go. There we go. Okay. I was a little worried for a second. I was like, wait a minute. Where's my continue options? Like start new game wasn't even available, but yeah, now it's there. So we're good now. Uh, let me bring up that and this. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and launch on in. We're going to see how this looks. I feel like I'm getting close-ish. I feel like I'm probably past the halfway point here, but I have no idea. I don't know how long this game is supposed to be. If it's supposed to be like sort of like a short, like seven hour, you know, nine hour little adventure, or if this is supposed to be more like, you know, like a longer single player experience. So we're going to find that out today together. Or at least part of it. <laughs> let's go ahead and continue and let's, uh, let's listen in. The sound is so very good. It's so good in this game. I highly recommend that you wear headphones while you're uh, listening to this because there is this element of, um, for those who are unfamiliar, the main character, the protagonist, Sinwa, she she hears like her, her own voice like telling her, you know, it's like the doubts in her mind and perceptions that she has like whispering to her wherever she goes. And so it sort of like enhances that feeling of like, of not, it's, it's, it builds on the whole premise of this person who is she going insane or is she not? And so apparently that was a big inspiration for the people who made this game was the exploration of uh, psychosis and the things that these people actually feel in those situations. So we're going to continue on and see what happens. Let's listen in. After a brief loading screen. <laughs> so very, very brief. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so last time we had, uh, we had finally got the sword, the sword that Odin left in the great tree. And we managed to find the shards and reforge it. We were told that it was uh, it was no good. Yeah, the voice in our head was like, "Hey, no, you don't." Well, here we go. Get out of here, my guy. Ooh, oh man, that guy got a cheap shot. Go. Oh, no, you don't. Visceral action. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. In the sea of corpses, the corpse waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed mind. Wow. The imagery and symbolism is really incredible. Do you hear the 
the suffering, Senua. Does your precious gift of sight <coughs> let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you ran from your curse instead of facing it. When you turn your back on the Father Zimba, you turn your back on the gods, and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? Oof. Come on, girl, get up. Not like this. Oh, one of these guys. Okay. guys come on dude oh oh this man's just flipped me over okay let's go okay Oh, he's got me on the wall. Get out of there. Come on, get up. Can we take care of this guy first. Ooh, okay. That's the, that's the big bonk. I can't I can't block the big bonk. Come on, dude. Ouch, come on, get out of there. Oh, come on. Yo! <laughs> What's going on, <laughs> Squanch? Sorry, I've got to, I've got to, got to focus a little bit here. Yeah, you can't take two stomps from a Minotaur in the Nightfall. That is exactly what I always say. I say that pretty much every day. You probably heard me say it on countless occasions. <laughs> How you doing, dude? Oh, I, I took a gamble there. I was like, I'm gonna charge this guy again. Oh, look at him hitting. Oh yeah. Oh, he's feeling himself. Look at him. He's over there. Like, come on. Yeah. out of here oh look at this oh this guy this guy's intimidating let's go buddy oh <laughs> dude like the choreography for the action sequences are really good Oh, oh, you, you feel it. You feel it. Get up, Senra. Come on. No. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, no. I've heard that you've actually got a limited number of failures. Yeah, see, like, every time you fail a little bit, it's like the darkness or whatever, the, the curse continues forward. Do I have to replay the entire fight sequence? Oh, I think I do. Oh. Oh, it hurts me. Oh no, okay. That's okay. We learned some things. We learned some things.
Let's go, guys. Ooh. Alright, now this guy. Come on, buddy. And, and retreat. Disengage. Doing good? Oh, uh, yeah, Squanch. Actually, uh, there's a couple things I wanted to... I wanted to ask you later tonight, um... About, like, uh... Some cryptocurrency stuff I was curious about. So, yeah, I'm totally... Hopefully, if you're around tonight, I wanted to... Wanted to... Pick your brain a little bit. Woo! Okay, <laughs> Oh, you're done now, big guy. Get out of here. All right, now time for Mr. Executioner Axeman. Let's see if we can do this. Come on. Come on. Oh! Okay, maybe maybe not. Maybe don't don't come at me. Back up. Back up. Okay. Oh, this is really intense. Back out, disengage, disengage. We're not going to get too greedy with the damage. Although he looks real stunned. Back out, back out, back out. Okay. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty quick with such a such a large weapon. Yes. Yes. Still fighting. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, let them let them attack me. How many must I fight? How many? Disengage. Ow. Oh, always oh, got moves too. Okay. Ugh. Another one of these guys. Jeez, these are these are frustrating ones here. The ones with the shields. Come on, guy. Come on. Done. Woo! Woo! Galina. Darkness took her life 
and it will take She calls for you, Senoa. Go to her. Answer her pitiful call. Not gonna happen, dude. Don't know who you are. It's not gonna happen. We will survive. Whoa. Oh, this guy's this guy's got some got some moves. Even in focus mode, he's like. It all works so well together. It's such a such a well done game. Oh, get okay, girl. Come on, I need you get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Let's focus up. Another one of these guys? What? Come on. What you gonna do, buddy? Come on. Oh, I gotta remember to stop trying that move. <sighs> Tried to dodge it. Didn't work. Come on, get up. I need you to get up. Ooh. 
Come on. <laughs> the combat is so intense. I love it. Oh, man. Are we still fighting? Who are we fighting? Okay. Another one. Oh, it's like when you finally kind of get the hang of it and you're just making the moves, it just, it's so satisfying. It is so good. Oof. Okay, back up, back up. Let's don't get... Okay, I'm stuck in a corner. Let's get out of the corner. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, dude, he's so strong. Double whammy. They surrounded me. Get up. Come on. <laughs> All right. It's like as she gets weaker, it's like her, like her attacks get weaker. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God. Gotta, gotta. Oh. <sighs> Yo, what's going on, Cassie? Yeah, dude, this game is so intense. The combat is so good, and it's like the music and the, the just everything. The setting. 
the voice acting like like the the that one voice talking to you and then your own voice is in your head like oh man oh so good it's just so like oh it's really intense Can I even go this way? Is this a dead end? Am I at a dead end though? Have that normally? <laughs> it's like you you understand this this game on another level. The darkness has taken you. Galena and Galena and You You can do your Bruh. What an... Um, dude, what a crazy, like... I'm surprised I haven't heard more about this game. You know, like, considering... How well it's all done and put together. Like, it's not mindless action. It's like, there's a story to it. It's like, the, the scenery and everything about it is just so good. The, the whole, like, Norse mythology setting, too, is really cool. And it fits well, like, with all the, like, the brutality, because, you know, they were brutal people, and it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was honky tonkin badonka donkin am I right? footsteps of her mother mm. to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her Senor look at me do you hear that they're calling for so many and I've lost my father I can't lose you you said I have blood on my hands I didn't say that you've done nothing wrong Zimbal is right everyone will suffer Zimbal is a fake he is a hateful <clears throat> bitter liar He's poisoned. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? <laughs> if you looked at your right arm, yeah, it's like... Who even knows what that is? In us. Mega death curse on her arm. Definitely should wash that off, though. sword with which to fight in more ways than one. She gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. It's a nice looking sword. <clears throat> and we're back. Back where we were. We got the... We went to the tree. We got the sword, and now we're back. <laughs> Jonah! What's going on, dude? Yeah, I was, uh... 
I've been thinking about this game and like how much I've been enjoying it. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and just go ahead. And, let's go ahead and push on through this. Let's keep going. I really want to see where this goes. That whole like sea of corpses part just now. I don't know if you were watching it, but you remember that part. I'm sure. Dude, that was wild. So well done. The music, the voice acting. Don't have much left. Okay. I figured it was probably getting close. I mean, I've been at this game for what, like 10 hours now, 12 hours. Yeah. So I figured it had to be, I had to be approaching the end here soon. Yep. Just finished the sea of corpses. <clears throat> <laughs> Could be wrong. I think I think we're getting close. We were worried we were here to help you. You need us. It's so worrying. So important to know you. You know where you come from. We're here to help you. You can trust us. Trust us. Trust us. Let's take a look into the mountain. We'll see. Shall we have a look around? Dude, the voices are so good. They are so good. It's like, especially when you got that the, you got your headphones on and you're sitting here trying to think about something, and the voices are just constantly whispering and just whispering and whispering. And it's like, it's like you can feel. It's like it makes you feel that frustration where it's like you know, you're not crazy, <laughs> completely, but it's like you know you're trying to focus. You're trying to do something, and it's like you hear these voices, and it's just like, you're just like shut up. Let me think. Let me focus. That boat is... Uh... I don't know if walking out into the... Into the water will kill me or not. I don't know. <clears throat> this bridge, though... Can I just walk across? Like, this is where I need to go, right? Okay, that's as far as I can go. Okay, so that's not the right way. I was like, okay, I guess I could just walk all the way across, but apparently that's not what they're looking for here, so... Let's just push on back. Uh, let's go over here. Yeah, let's go. Let's follow the path around. I'm sure I've got to find some perspective puzzle or whatever like we were before. I think that's where we... I don't know. It's not where we came from. Or is it? Is that Was that the, like the puzzle area? One of the puzzle areas, maybe? No, that was one of the trials. The labyrinth. Yeah, that that boat over there is looking looking like a great option. Can I get up here? No. Okay. So that's not where we need to go. Don't need to walk out into the water. Can we go around here? No. Invisible walls there. Boat, come here. There's definitely a door I need to go through. Okay. Like an art, one of the archways, or just like a different door, Johnny. One that was previously closed. Okay. Huh. Oh, the ladder. Okay, maybe we go back up there. That's still closed off. It's like a great. Well, let's just check it anyway. Never hurts to check. Yeah, this is definitely not the way. Okay, yeah. You know that trick with video games where it's like you can just tell by how something is like animated or whatever if it's like something that you can actually do or not. <laughs> you can tell if it looks like it's part of the scenery or if it's like something that you can interact with. 
<laughs> Oldest trick in the book. So let's see. So let's backtrack a little bit here. We need to. So we're gonna need to remake this bridge to get across. No, this is right where I was. Okay, so I could have just come right back up here. Okay. Yeah, let's push forward. There's a bridge. You can do it. You can see. Mm. Go away. I'm not messing. getting dark <laughs> yep enter Helheim this is where we're going so that bridge the other way was where we came from originally Oof. let's get that lore tell you of a great hero named Sigurd son of Sigmund, no less. Born mm. after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafnir, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafnir hid the treasure out on a heath could not leave it and from the evil in his heart he turned into a dark creature a dragon Oof. dude Norse mythology is wild eh yeah this is a bad place we're not in a good place don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, cool. A little like rope bridges, you always think like you're crossing my video again. It's like nine times out of ten, they're gonna fall. You have to like find your way back to where you need to go. No, let's just open the door. You are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How will you say Dillian if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadows? They can't stop me. Then do it. Useless here. Gotta follow the lights. Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> to do your father wants them to go away and he only hurts me to silence them so he's gone now they always come back he says i will die if i go with them they say you died already dead no and that you will be with them stop that's why they crawl through the walls Don't do you them. see them <laughs> do you see their faces Senor, help me! Help! Get me out of here! <coughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what to do. She took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill. I don't talk much about her father. Zimbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Oh, man. Isn't Garm basically Fenrir? Uh, I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with Norse mythology and specifics. Like, you know, I know some names, you know, like the common ones, you know. You got your, you know, your Odin, your Thor, you know, Balder, uh, you know, Surt. Didn't know about Val Raven before this. Uh, you know, so it's like Loki. All these, I know like some of the names of them, but I'm not super familiar with like the stories of it all. And I know like little bits and pieces about where it's like, uh, what was it? Odin went into a drinking contest with like the giants or the gods or whatever. And he basically like lowered the sea level. And that's where they say tides came from because it was Odin it was actually drinking from the sea. Like, it was crazy. Yo, what's going on, Nyx? How are you doing? How's your, uh, how's your arc experience going? Let's see, or is it two different bees? I know Fenrir is Loki's son. Just didn't know if it was a nickname. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, exactly. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised to find that out, but... Now we got... Can we light this? Light it up. There we go. All right, so we got to go find. So we got to let's let's light this all up. Let's see if we got some torches or anything around here. <clears throat> Door won't open. Doing okay. Besides the fact that everything in Ark tried to murder you today. Oh yeah, welcome to Ark. That is that's also like kind of like a rite of passage. You died to Argents like three times and once to a trike. Well, on the trike, you got no one to blame but yourself. But the Argents, they can be a pain, right? Two Rexes? Yeah. There are Rexes, Carnos. There's some big carnivores in that area in um, in Ragnarok. That's why I'm saying that that area where you're building is not going to be permanent. So what you do is you just avoid those guys, like, as much as you can. You know what I mean? Is that enough for the day? Yeah. No, I feel you. Sometimes it can be frustrating. There will be moments where you'll just be like, I'm done. I'm never playing this game again. And then the next day you're like, well, maybe I'm ready again. Did I miss a rune up here? For a minute I thought I saw the... Wait. Yeah, no, okay, no runes here. No runes here. Go to the island and explore the big crack in the earth. Yeah. No, uh, Nyx is over there on uh, Viking Cove. Uh, yeah, you saw Johnny. You saw us over there um, yesterday. I'll, I'll, I'll take you to the highlands, Nyx, at some point. Uh, but, you know, but before you get to that point, you got you to gotta pass the... You got to pass the, uh, the rite of passage of Ark, which is train a... Uh, train an Argent. Okay, it's... Oh, can I light this? Okay, can you just just get, reach up? Just reach your torch up there and just light it. Okay, maybe not. Okay, it's somewhere in here. I, I feel like it has something to do with this. Oh, let's well, like this. We can light that one. We got some shadow action. Yeah, we do. Look at that.
The trike one was kind of dumb. I found a single uh, trike, and after a level uh, 180, Argent murdered all your dinos. I wanted to tame a new one, so I found a new one. Tried to trank it. was going fine. Then a second one comes out of nowhere, and one hits me. Yeah, the trikes uh, will defend each other. So that's why, like, before, when we were doing that one trike, I went and killed the other ones that were in the area. Because if, yeah, if you attack one, then they all turn on you. They work as, like, a pack. So. See, you learned a lesson. And you also, you can see the power of the Argent. And a one, 180 Argent. That's incredible. That's max level. You should remember where that one is because it'll stay in the world. And then um, that'll be the one you can go back and tame. Argents are actually not that hard to tame. It's just like getting to the point where you have everything you need to tame it. Didn't even see the other one before. It's like gray with uh, white wingtips. Oh, that sounds nice. Argents are fun to breed, too, to try to get color mutations. Me, Johnny, and uh, one of my other buddies, Thug, uh, we uh, we bred a ton of Argents until we finally got ones that were black with, uh, like, electric blue accents on the wingtips. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Still my pride Argent. Near the ribs when you last saw it? Yeah, that, that's a, that area, like, going too deep into towards the inland, there's a ton of Argents. Um, there's vultures. Like I said, raptors, dilos, uh, carnos. There's a lot of allosaurus in that area too. It's it's that whole map is pretty dangerous, um, but it's just like that is ironically one of the safer areas to be. Okay, I just opened this door here. Uh, I can't open this door, can I? No, that one's shut. All right, so I had oh oh I opened that door. Let's go this way. That's the rune door there, right? This is where I came from originally. Can I light any torches? I need to look for torches too. I need to keep an eye out for that. Doors locked here. Okay. Light these torches. I have a feeling I really need to light all these just so that way I can't like, just in case my torch does go out and I gotta make a run for it. Did Tim a Dilo. 244 now? Oh, nice. You got a high level one. I drank the heck out of a random Dilo. Yeah. And remember, you can uh, you can bola those guys, too. You can use a bola on pretty much anything that's got legs small enough to be tied up by, like, you know, a bola. Which is super cool. Wait, 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 wait. It's that way. This way. Let's try this way. This way feels. Oh boy. Hold on, I got a. There is the only a fish. A pteranodon. They don't only eat fish. They're carnivores. You can use regular meat. Um, but it's really slow, and you'll have to feed it either narcotic or narco berries to keep it asleep, like I was telling you before. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. go you can't go anywhere without the light take the torch and oh. I put me to the inventory and narco berries but it didn't eat for some reason yeah no pteranodons take a long time <laughs> they take a long time to tame 
Like you'll have to be sitting there like babysitting it for a bit. Not not like not like an hour or anything, but it, it might take you like 30, 35 minutes to tame one. Maybe yeah, maybe not that long. But it, it's not like it's not like, you know, a quick little ten minute tame like some of the other ones you were doing. Turn it on take a long time. Uh, it is worth it though. Like if especially if you can get one that's in a pretty safe area and you're able to defend it. Um then yeah. Oh oh yeah, you can always try again. Dinosaurs respawn, so even if you lose one or kill one, like they respawn, so you can always get more. Okay, so something up here. Oh, there it is. She has it. She did it. She's done it this long ago. This place. Oh. It reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night. The faces in the dark coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see her. That's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zimbel, could see the monster in her. Oof. Oof. And the coolest red and purple and gold tech pair but then a max level Dilo murdered it. Yeah. The other the other story. I've lost some really good tames because uh, things ran in and killed what I was trying to work on. It hurts a lot when that happens. <laughs> but again, it's kinda like that's the arc experience for you. Uh Uh, it's like each little thing that happens to you like that kind of teaches you for the next time you know what i mean so it's like there will come a time when you'll just be like oh i know now like not to you know if it's like if there's something i really want to tame like before you start taming it, you make sure that you have everything you need to be able to defend it so whether it's mounts or whatever We'll be getting into uh, things like taming pins and stuff like that. You'll start finding little ways. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, this is a. This is a nope. Yeah, this is a big old nope. Okay, just just put. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, Sino, you got it. You've got to get going, girl. You cannot be hanging out here. Okay, light. Oh. The duo of Rexes look so cool. A white and black spotted one, an entirely black one with even darker spots. Yeah, some of the color combinations are really incredible, and that's what's cool about when you start to breed dinosaurs, is they can Every now and again, very rarely, they can have a color mutation. So you can get really crazy colors and really cool ones. And then you, it's like, there is like a genetic system almost where it's like the color, colors will be passed on to the next generations. So like you can start to try to breed to aim for specific color combinations. And it works with different regions on the bodies of the creatures. So it's really cool that you can like, okay, I like this color in this region. So I'm going to breed this with another one, you know, that's got a, a color I like in the other regions and keep doing that until you get the color combinations you want. Or you can try to breed for stats. Let's go for the light. Ready? Go, 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 go. torch i feel like we're gonna need the torch in order to finish this because i can't see we're gonna have to light these torches yeah let's get over here let's go yeesh Ugh. okay <laughs> 
Oh, hey! Got a torch? Yes! Let's light up the dark. All right, so let's see. Hmm. Let's light them up. Shadow? Is, is it this thing here? What are you looking for? Oh, what is this? What are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. It said I was like on it, but like right here? Oh, the reflection. Oh wow. The beast is crawling into your mind. Wow. I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Carnivores will need uh, you will need a trap to tame, so it's easier. Traps are easy, yeah, easy to make. Yeah, exactly. They really are. Assemble it and put it in storage. Exactly. Yeah. So definitely, uh, you'll definitely be utilizing traps to help you with dangerous creatures. It's a trap. The beast is coming. Oh. Oh, Lord Almighty. Okay, you gotta go. You better run faster. you leave me? This darkness. It's spreading. Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find Dilly. Oh. 
Oh. Away from the beast? Is he not chasing us anymore? Where? Oh, let's get a torch. I guess. I guess the beast is still here, because. <laughs> oh, he's there. Oh, he has to fight it. Oh, oh, we got like a we got like a boss fight coming up here. These guys are the worst. Not so tough now, are you big guy? That's not right. Let's try this. You guys want to gang up? Like he's big, and he's bad. Come on, dude. Let's go. Oh. Buddy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's get, let's get the torch. Torch. All right. Oh, just one? Just one? This, I say, this is probably casting a shadow or something. I'm guessing. It's from the right angle. Oh, 
Let's see. Let's see. So I can't go. Oh, oh. We just had it. Whoa. What? I didn't know I could... <laughs> That's kind of wild. Like, flipped perspective on the other side. I don't know if I was supposed to be able to get it from this side or not. I don't know. Feels like I was supposed to be able to do that, but... I don't know. It was weird. I'm supposed to walk around? <laughs> I've, I, You know, I kind of thought. I thought that was what it was supposed to do there. But I was just like, but it says... But... I hope I didn't miss too much there. I hope I didn't miss any like lore or anything. And some speedrun strats, okay? Uh oh, oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fight this boss. Let's let's finish this. Where's this guy at? Oh, another one. I guess we gotta fight some more dudes down here. That's okay. Like the combat. Combat is good. See what they're doing over here. We gotta light. We gotta light this torch here. Can we? Uh, can we glitch this one too? Hmm? Okay, so I've got to light this torch up there. However, if I run through there, I won't have a lit torch to use. Lore, hang on. Let's get some story. Rian the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rian would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rian reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to mm. avenge his father, and then he and Rian go in search of Fafnir. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, so I've got to figure out how to get up there. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, it's so creepy. It's creepy. That's quite terrifying, and I don't know. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to like make a run for it. There's gotta be a way, like maybe down there. There's gotta be a, a lit fire somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Nothing to it but to do it. Man, that is disorienting and terrifying. Um, eh. Hmm. That ain't it. <laughs> well, I mean, I knocked down this bridge. Oh, okay. So there's got to be a way around. So I go back, 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 back. I get this. And now we're going to... Ooh, is this a little tunnel I spy over here? There we go. There we go, making the way. Come on. We're just going to light everything. I was going to say, am I not lined up perfectly enough? For the final level, it's actually pretty lengthy. Some lore. The dragon's baffner is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. Okay. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafner slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafner <coughs> sees his killer. He warned Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. And then? Don't just leave me on a cliffhanger. Because it includes entering Helheim and exiting. Oh, okay. I'm down with it. I'm enjoying the game. When is the sequel supposed to come out? Makes me real curious how this is going to end, too. Because it's like, if it's got a really definitive, really good ending, then it's like, I don't know if I'd want a sequel to a game like this. You know, sometimes it's okay for a game to just be a one-off, that it was really good, you know? Like, just a good experience, 
a really compelling story, mechanics, all the things, like all the stuff is really good in this game. But depending on how it ends, I don't know if it's going to actually, if it needs a sequel. Let's, let's jump into the, this hole of death, I'm sure. I thought we were going to like fall into some water for sure. I was like, oh yeah, we're going to fall down. It's going to be like water. Are those, are those hands reaching out again? Let's see, there's a torch. Oh. Oh, no, don't leave me alone. Nope. 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 No, don't touch. No, no touchy. <laughs> no touchy. Oh, hold on. Oh, hell no. Oh no. I'm coming. Come back. Run. Cecilia. I see you. No. You're not safe here, Tommy. I will smell your No. I am go Ooh. okay dummy thick whoa You freaky big pig monster, whatever you are. Pig man bear pig. Oh. Don't give up. Don't give up. Come on, get up. Get up. To, no, you don't. Oh, buddy. Wow. That is in, intense. Oh. Oh, come on. Cheap shots. Cheap shots. Get up.
come on. Come on now. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, shit. it's gonna yeah, it's gonna kill me. Yikes! Light attacks do nothing to him. Make sure uh, I'm sure you figure that out. Even when I've got him like stunned. Oh, so I have to use. Ooh. Oh man, it's terrifying. No, you don't. This is so wild. Where are you going? No. Oh, you jerk. Sorry if I'm not paying attention to chat right now. Uh, ooh, ah, sorry. Yo, what's going on, Devo? Welcome. How you doing? Eee. Oh. Get up, get up, get up, get up. We're not doing this again. Up, come on. I got dodged. Ooh. You got to focus up here for just a second, guys. Sorry. It's very difficult. It's very challenging, but it's all it's so it's just so good.
Oh boy. Oh, Lord Almighty. Okay. No, come on. Don't you run away. Don't you run away. You coward. You coward. You coward. Yeah. I think it killed me. I think it got me. <sighs> okay. Ah, take a breath here. Shake it off. <laughs> Dude, this is wild. Uh, maybe when he's stunned, not completely sure. It looks like it's doing damage to the quick attacks when it's stunned. Or when I'm in like my, my focus mode. Yeah, this is this is really, really challenging. But I like how it's sort of like it incorporates, you know, a lot of the things. It's like everything you've kind of learned up to this point, especially when it's like it's in the darkness and you're having to listen for him. You know, it's just like the trial of blindness or whatever. It's like you're having to listen for things and, you know, it's kind of like bringing it all together. It's wild. Okay, we ready? <laughs> Thanks, Devo. I appreciate the uh, the vote of confidence. We're gonna we're gonna do it. Those darkness parts. I need to save my focus for when it's in the darkness because I can just attack him when I can see him. It's it's only when it's like all dark that's when things get really difficult. It's not even the final boss. What? Okay, yeah, maybe I won't finish the game today then. Which I mean, I'm not opposed to because the game's so good. Come on, come on, ugly. Ooh, oh, cheap shot. Come on. Okay, you can go ahead and get on up. Get yourself up. Come on. Okay, I've got to focus. I'm going to save that, though. For, yeah, see, it's getting dark. I'm going to go ahead and... Come on, come on. Sorry guys, I've got to make sure I'm focusing up here, this part. Too greedy. Don't get don't to get too greedy. Just two hits and back off. Two hits and back out. One hit there, back out. Okay. One, two, back out. Okay. One, two, back out. <laughs> oh, oh. Focus. Oh, follow that one up quick. No, you 
you don't. Come on. Ooh! Oh, he turned around. Yikes, come on, get up, girl. Come on, come on, come on, get up, 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 up. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Ooh. Ah. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Okay. Can I block his attacks? I feel like I probably can't, right? Straight up. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on. <sighs> this claw attack cannot be blocked. His bite and fang attack can be blocked and, par and parried. Okay. Okay, I try to block his claw attack there. Come on, hit me with that bite. Oh, ouch. Got him on the ropes. You see him down? Yeah. Settle down there, big boy. Over here. Over here. Oh. Okay, so his bite attack cannot be parried. <laughs> The glowing sword just gives me so such like Lord of the Rings vibes too. Come on. Oh.
Oh. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, kind of sweaty, guys. Feeling kind of sweaty. <laughs> Conquer's bed for a day prepared you for this. For real, though. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand. Cold and cruel. He tried to fix that with his rituals. It did kind of, didn't it, Johnny? Trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that I, I mean, the fact that it kind of went into a like a, a cinematic kind of told me I was like, okay, the fight's done. Until she left, headed for the one ray of light that shone around her. Yeah, the dodging was real, Devo. <laughs> Yo, this poor girl. She will save her soul. Even if this time she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. Yeah, so I'm not going to. Why are you talking to me? Don't talk to me. I've made it this far. Oh man. Oh man. I died so much the curse is really going up the arm now. Dude, that that boss fight was great. Such a good boss fight. The mechanics were cool. Like so well done. So good. Okay. Onward. The whispers, though. The whispers. Mother, I won't let the darkness trick me again. I know you're safe with the gods. I can feel Hela's gaze searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Doya. Oh boy. I will fulfill my vow, whatever the cost. Ooh. Tell me what happened. The Northmen say the world will come to an end. Oh, new story. They call this Ragnarok. Destiny of the gods. At first, there will be a terrible winter, three years long. Then, mankind will turn on itself. Brothers will fight each other to the death, and people will forget what they owe their kindred. Times will be hard. Crimes will be great. It will be an age of axes and swords. The wind will blow through abandoned halls. Wolves will walk where children. The world will fall from the wind. 
The guy who did the voice acting for that is so good. <clears throat> Very, like, emotive without coming across as disingenuous. 10 out of 10. Well done, dude. Whoever you are. I'm gonna have to look it up and see who it is. See if it's, like, one of the big-name voice actors out there. Like the subtle, subdued music. Just everything just works together so well. Why am I up here? Is there a way down? Oh, I've got to put the bridge back together. Okay. One of them perspective tricks again. Let's just roll back here. Go back down, and we're good on the bridge. We can just go ahead and cross the bridge now. And, uh... Oh, maybe not. The cinematography, like the the core or the choreography on all this, is just so good. Let's do it. Nicholas Bolton is the Lorestone actor. I've never heard of that voice actor. Has he, had, has he done any other voice work? You gonna throw things at me, dude? is the way back out we'll see we'll find out we'll find out together guys nope this is the wrong way okay may not be able to cross. Okay, there's another piece that I have to put together. Um, okay, I think that's the way I came from. Let's go this way. <clears throat> we'll go this way. 
And yo, everybody, just a quick uh, shout out to all you people out there. Everybody who has dropped likes and subscriptions, uh, I really appreciate it. I've been trying to work on the uh, the alerts. I don't know if anybody new has actually subscribed to the channel today. Um, but if you did, if you're lurking out there, just let me know if you subscribe so I can thank you properly since, you know, the alert may not be working. <laughs> I'm still working on it. I'm trying to get that all tweaked. isn't just a broken bridge, is it? Mother, you showed me how to see further. To see the hidden wonders in our world and explore new paths into the unknown. To lead so that others may follow. Or to warn so that they Amnesia may Rebirth, follow. Mass Effect Andromeda, that Dragon Age, Mass Effect 3, Assassin's Creed 3. Ooh. And our duty. I'm not going to look away in fear anymore. Who did the voice of the like the darkness in this one, Johnny? Since you since you're looking it up. <laughs> Further up. Okay, but there's still one more, though. There's still one more piece that I have to put together. I really like how they play a lot with the idea of, like, perspective, things like that. Like, your perspective of the world, you know, your the way you see things. Like, again, finding the rune with the, and, you know, from the reflection in the water and everything was so cool. Would that be Shadow? I think so. I'm pretty sure. It's that, it's that dark, deep, gravelly voice that's been talking to us. So, see, so we got one more piece here, too. I gotta figure out where to go for that one. <clears throat> Okay, so these pieces, I need to go climb, can I climb this giant? No? Okay, can't do that. Stephen Hartley, okay. Not familiar with him either. I was wondering if it was gonna be like one of the big ones like Nolan North or something like that. I'm definitely gonna look into, look into those dudes and see what else they've done. Cause that's uh, or like kind of look in and you know, look up their samples of, of uh, the voice acting they've done in those other games because super good i appreciate good voice acting voice good voice acting in a game is so important it is so important so how oh the the door the door the door the door she didn't want to go through the door she was looking at the door, but she didn't want to go through the door. What's up with the... I need to go find the door. Hang on. <laughs> Those other big games are Battlefield 1 and Dark Souls 3. Yeah, Stephen Hartley, I could see that 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 voice. I could see that one being in Dark Souls. <laughs> For sure. For sure. That would fit right in. And The Witcher. Oh, which voice did he do in Witcher? Did it say specifically? Maybe I missed one. Maybe I missed a, a perspective down here. No, up there. You see that, that little cove right up there? I need to get to there. That's where I'm going to be able to see. King Aridin? Wasn't he a king in the Witcher series? I need to go back and do a playthrough of the Witcher 3 again. That's what I need to do. It's been a few years, and that... Talk about a phenomenal game. Good lord almighty. And the expansions were so huge. Like, proper expansions. I wouldn't even call them DLC. They were like old-school expansions. So good. Let's continue our way around. It looks like going back that way is not going to work. I 
and we know we need to go up. So let's try going up here. Take another look. I may have missed something. I feel like we went up here already, but I might have missed a path. Yeah, we definitely went up here. But we're going to take one more trip up just to see if there's an alternative way that I can go to get to that little, that little alcove so I can get the perspective I need to fix the bridge all the way. can't go that way I can't go this way I can only go this way but that was only so there's nowhere to go not there not over here is it? Oh, okay. Get over there. Oh, wait. There's some there? So I may have two more pieces to do here. Just gotta be methodical. With these puzzles, that's always the trick, right? Just go one way at a time until you've eliminated all the options. Oh, you know what? That maybe that other piece, the other pieces that I didn't see, may give me like a staircase or something. So I need to I need to go back and look at those again, because they might be trying to like guide me or give me another path that I can use to get to the other area that I need to be in. I bet you that's what it is, guys. Let's find out. Plus, there was those doors. She looked at those doors, and I didn't go in the doors. I didn't even try, so I need to go back and find where those doors are at. Okay, so we've got... From before I got ambushed. I think so. I think I found one piece. I found two... Is it two or three pieces I found so far? Okay, see, these pieces are right here. I bet I have to get on the bridge to do it, don't I? Oh, okay, hang on. Boom. Okay. So there's the door, but that's where we came from, I think, right? So we're going to go back this way. Probably going to have a fight. Well, let's grab some more. The Northmen say the gods will fight the last battle. Their watchmen will blow the horn that can be heard through the whole world. And Odin will speak with the severed head of Mimir, which gives him good counsel. The land of the giants will thunder with the sound of their army on the move. The gods will assemble. The dwarves will leave their stones. The frost giants will come from the east. The Midgard serpent will turn up the waves. Eagles oh. will scream and tear at the corpses with their yellow beaks. The ship of the dead will set sail. Man, this guy is into that story. He is just really selling it. Guessing this door cannot be opened. Hey, yep. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move it on up. This, all right, this will take me, I'm guessing, to the last piece I need. 
the last piece of this bridge. I guess before the final boss. Boss boss. <clears throat> Oh, there's gonna be a fight in here for sure. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, cheap. I thought he was gonna go for the... Hey, bro, you ain't nothing. You, don't, you have no idea what I just finished fighting. <laughs> this guy's such a punk. Dirty now, are we? Ow. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up, 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 up. Yikes. Oh. Oh, I need to get up. Okay, okay, okay. What a wild time this is. What a what a wild time. Whew. All right, so we finished that fight. Uh, where did we? Oh, here it is. Here's the little alcove I was talking about. Oh, that's the ambush. Okay. And the bridge is done. Go up further? Oh, we got we got some lore. Some, oh, we got some lore. Let's get that lore. The Northland Sea, that at Ragnarok, <laughs> the gods will face a ship full of their foes, which Loki will steal to Asgard. It carries the fire giants, the wolf that will eat the sun, and all kinds of dark creatures. Surt will join them with his sword of fire. The cliffs will crash, trolls will walk the land, men will tread the road to hell, and the heavens will split open. Oof. It's definitely serious. Okay. 
Got a little bit of lore. Go this way. Okay. Just open this door. Shortcut. We'll call it. <laughs> I can only presume we're going to have one more fight for I get across the bridge. The fight on the bridge. Yeah, <laughs> you just knew. You just knew it was gonna happen. All oh, the music. It's too late he was doing the old charge attack. I need you to get up now. Come on. Not over. God, okay. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Me too. Get out. Everybody just leave me alone. This battle here. Ow. Dude, these fights are just absolutely epic. today 
Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, 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 up. Yeah, I'm hurt. I think I did just spar to that man, yeah. Back up, back up, back up. Some perspective here. Need, need a little space to breathe. I can't breathe. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, Devo. <laughs> when you go through the door, it's a point of no return. I mean, how far? How far have we got to go? <laughs> Dude, what a battle. Yeah, it's like you could feel like the battle on the bridge was coming. Like, you just knew. Like, there's no way I'm going to get across with like without anything. So I said, did I go to the wrong side? will die. We don't want to die. I don't want to die. Senua, stop. Stand, Stand back. Stop. Stop. Why is she afraid? Stop. Senua, stop. Senua, stop. What happens to us? Here we go. Only good is to listen to the voices in the boss fight. Okay. Yeah, they've kind of established that as being the thing, right? I didn't ask you to be a part of me. If you don't want to die with me, then leave me alone. I don't want to die. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. You'll never come back if you go there. There's nothing to go back to. We only have each other now. Don't abandon me. Everyone suffers. Does that mean you don't want to listen to him? Listen to me, not them. Whoa, okay. Like children scared of the dark. So was I. They made up monsters to fill the void. That doesn't make them real. Facing evil in search of victory and honor. Clear dividing lines. No. Our this place is not quite like that. Mm. It's as if it knows that true torment lies within. Memories it cannot defeat. Cannot escape. This is her hell. 
Bring it. Let's do it. Professor Snape? Do you see the darkness? Faces, fear, and suffering. I can see it. I remember it clearly now. She has nothing to fear in The gods have saved her mother. Through my hands. You killed her. <clears throat> this is the will of the gods. Fuck the gods! You did this to her! Why? This is what happens when you listen to the voices of the underworld. They crawl into your soul and rot you from the inside. <sighs> Defy the gods like your mother, and the darkness will come for you too. Yeah, she's real upset, Johnny. <laughs> you understand, Sam. I mean, I get it. <laughs> she's real angry. Madness. I was just a child. You created this darkness. You created this darkness so you could hide behind it. Only suffering brings salvation. It is Those Anakin eyes, yeah. Definitely a similar sentiment there. It's time to throw down, guys. You are a lie. She didn't defy the gods. She defied you. So you killed her. You didn't pray to the gods. You prayed to your mother. Your mother, who was too weak to fight the darkness and abandon you. You tortured her. You killed her. You are the darkness. The pain that still haunts you. It was the only way to fight the curse within you. The darkness is inside you that will destroy you. You're a liar! No, Sumer. The darkness is here. You cannot wish it away. And it will watch as you draw the night's dying. It really is intense, right, Devo? This is wild.
Watch out. Ooh. Okay, I need to I need to roll away from that. Watch out. Come on. Not today, buddy. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. Broker's recharge is quicker in this fight also. Yeah, it seems to. My sword's been like glowing the entire time. How about it, dude? Not this guy again. Nope, nope, you get up. Ooh. 
Ooh, ran into that one. The music is so good. You have him. Gideon's gone. Gideon's dead. Mm. Oh, dang it. Realized too late what was going on there. Or what? What Whoa. did you do to me that you haven't already? Fight me. Come on. He starts in search of Gideon. In search of Thank love. You. Look where that's got you. Thank you. Fight, girl, come on. Come on. Get up. We're not going to fail this one. Dang it. What? Did I fail? Oh, to just let it end? Oh, man. Is that what you want me to believe? After all you've done to me? And to him? You are not a liar. But you are a liar! You crawled into me. To confuse me and deceive me. But I know you. I know you have him. Want, isn't it? I saw. I 
take it. Only us, only us take fall. I'll fight with you in Ragnarok. without loss is one without love. You turn your back on death and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is dark. When our time comes, we must look death in the eye and embrace it as friends. Only then can we let go of our fear. And emerge from our darkness.
Never forget what it is like to see the world as a child, Senua. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day, a new story. We too emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean. Only to return to the sea. of this world never leaves us. It is always there, waiting to be seen again. <laughs> This is where my story was.
your Venmo and PM? No. Nah, ain't going to do that. You crazy. I can smell food cooking downstairs. There's dinner downstairs. <laughs> I have to go grab some of that. And, you know, you just take your, take your, take your dinner money and get yourself something good. Get some, get some Cadoba. Ooh, Cadoba. And Palatine, you mean Palpatine? I'm assuming that's what you meant. Do it. Most phone companies nowadays realize that a game will be streamed, so they try to stay away from copyright stuff. And if they do, at least they warn you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, Okay, music's over. Stupid autocorrect. <laughs> I feel that, though. I know what you mean. Oh, Palpatine. That's who you were talking about. All right, is there, is there a scene? We gonna get one? We gonna leave us on a black screen here, game? Oh, maybe. Maybe. How about the Apex trailer? That was kind of cool. I need to go back and watch it again. Oh, that's it. It's done. It's done, guys. Oh. I dig it. I dig it. Um, I need to look into when the next game's coming out. When the sequel is. And when did this when did this one come out? Let's uh let's look it up here. Alright, so this came out in 2017. Okay. It's not that old. Four years. That's pretty good. Um, let's see. Done by Ninja Theory. Cool. Alright. Let's look up Hellblade 2. Let's see, Sinwa's Saga, Hellblade 2. There's no no release date? No release date's been... You guys want to check out the trailer? Let's check out the trailer real quick. Let's watch it together. Let's watch the trailer together, guys. Let's see what... Um, speech recognition. No, I don't want none of that. Uh, let's uh, Let's watch it together and let's see... full screen that bay there we go I like it already we'll check out that apex trailer after this one She had a bad time since uh, last time we, we saw her. <laughs> looks like they're planning on going just as uh they're going planning on going just as hard in this one as they did in the other one Jeez, in the first one even crazier in some ways that's wild that is absolutely crazy 
Game Bangs Legends trailer. Uh, what is this? Uh, what what trailer are we talking about here? Legacy launch. Here we go. Let's watch this one. New character. Yeah, the far alt. Literally, literally, even like the same like pose in the air. Uh, am I gonna get DMCA? Are we DMCA riskiness here? Let's just turn that down just a little bit. We'll just kind of watch this here. We're not gonna have the music playing too loud because you know, you know. So, <laughs> just trying to avoid trouble. We don't want Mama Susan slapping us. Look at that. It's like even like the pose up there in the air is just like Farah. Justice reigns from above. I did a reaction. Oh, are they big streamers? Big streamers get away with more than the tiny the tiny guys do. Who dat? But who dat though? Four days. Who was that character at the end? Who is this? Who is this? This is Ash. Is is Ash currently a character in the game? I I have not unlocked any of the new any of the new ones yet. From Titanfall. Oh, oh, they're finally bringing in some more, some more of that, uh, some more of the Titanfall lore into here. That's smart. That is smart. They should do that. They should definitely do that. <laughs> I mean, especially considering how much, you know, Titanfall is loved. What they need to do is they do need to make, I feel like they need to make a Titanfall three and they need to really like bring some of this lore stuff together, you know, like bring some of these stories, tie them together a little bit. I feel like Apex Legends, it's like it was made, especially watching some like of the Titanfall footage, like Titanfall 2 and stuff like that, the gameplay. It, you can tell that it's like they made Apex because they were in the Titanfall universe because they could reuse assets, right? They could reuse sound effects, gun models, you know, a lot of stuff straight from Titanfall 2. So it's like they slapped on a couple new things and then made a map and then they're able to release it as this, you know, it's a full full on game. But I would now with the success that Apex has had, I would really like to see them go ahead and, you know, make that connection a little bit stronger and actually, you know, kind of flesh it out a little bit, justify it a little bit more rather than, you know, just, you know, oh, well, we've got all these assets we can use on the game. So we might as well just keep pulling those so we don't have to develop anything really <laughs> besides, you know, some some basic stuff, maps, stuff like that, you know. So, I don't know. It looks cool. I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Um. 
Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, cool. Yo, but guys, I hope everyone had a good time tonight. I think we'll uh, we'll probably be wrapping this up here. And uh, yeah, we can uh, we'll be coming back. Let's see. <laughs> Cassie rolling up in here. Wow. Why you gotta Why you gotta be like that? Weave. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a little that's a little far. Liking one TV show or you know, watching liking one show does not make one a weeb. I'm not a weeaboo. Okay. Let's get that straight right now. I know, right? It's like nobody had to know. <laughs> Nobody had, you know, you didn't have to say anything about it. We didn't have to go there, did we? I guess we did, though, didn't we? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, not that one. Hang on. This one. This one. There we go. And again. Wow. Hmm. Learn Japanese? No, that sounds really difficult and time consuming. And I've, you know, I'm doing, I'm, I've got other things going on, you know. Wait, what? Wait, what? We can't just put everything on hold. <laughs> We're waiting. Yeah, you're learning Japanese. I'm not going to do that though. That's complicated. I don't really have a I don't really have a need to do that. I'm not ever planning on I'm not ever planning on going to Japan. Well, not like living there. Maybe like visit maybe one day, I don't know, maybe. It'd be kind of cool to see Japan, but it's like I feel that way about a lot of places though, you know. And I'm not still sold on like some of the food they eat. Like I like I pick I would want to pick destinations based on the food that they have their their cuisine and so Spain would be my first my first travel location because man that Spanish food is incredible you gotta love it I'm still the weeb no not even not even <laughs> and you can and you can make the accusation all you want but I think the evidence speaks for itself you know. So, so there. I think uh, I think we can all agree that I've won this argument, and uh, we can just put it to bed. Spicy makes you sad. Spicy is amazing. It's delicious. What are you talking about? Legit Japanese food is fire. Yeah, you know, I, it's like there are like I could see how there are certain things, right? But like. I know that they like to eat a lot of weird things, and because of like the fact that I'm. I'm usually pretty adventurous with food. It's like, I'm going to end up trying some of these weird things. Probably some things. No, like some things are a little too far, you know, like, uh, like in China, how they have the, the bird nest soup or whatever, where it's like, they get the nests that the birds make out of their saliva and they like make that into a soup and it's really expensive. It's considered like a delicacy, but I don't know if I can mentally get over that. Like is like bird, bird vomit soup. And I don't know, like it may taste great. It may be great, but it's one of those things of a mental block where I don't know if I could get over that. I don't know if I could do it. I'm going to try it like how they extract flavors is how we uh, use spices for our food. Yeah, it's like they've got an entirely different like philosophy about like eating, you know, and their foods and flavors and things like that. So that's kind of cool having that unique, you know, having that difference, you know, but I don't know, man. I just don't know. Some things you can't. Elephant dung coffee. Yeah, it's like stuff like that. I mean... That sounds ridiculous, but I'm sure it's actually a thing. I'm guessing. Like, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm just not. It's like, it's like, these are like things where it's like, yo, your ancestors had to eat this because they needed to survive. They didn't have agriculture or whatever. And so they had to eat what they had to eat. And it's like, why are you still eating it? You shouldn't be eating that anymore. <laughs> traditional Japanese ramen house uh, you want to just live there and never leave yeah traditional ramen is really good I, I agree with you on that like I could deal with the ramen and stuff like that I'm talking about the weird things you know 
I ain't knocking Japanese food. Japanese food's good. <laughs> it was just one of those things of like, I don't know. <laughs> Some things are a little odd. <laughs> I would still be okay with going there though. Trying it, at least trying it, you know? Eating a crab is pretty brutal. How's it more brutal than any other animals that we eat? And crab is delicious. And it's also like, it doesn't have any strange aromas. Like it's very seafoody. You know what I mean? It's like, if you like seafood in general or shellfish in general, and they have very similar flavors. You know what I mean? It's like, there's not like, you know, there's nothing really weird going on where it's like, I'm, I, oh, it's like, I can smell the aroma of the elephant poops in my coffee. Like, because that's what it was made with. Like, nope. So what about uni? What? What? Uni or is it uni? And what are you talking about? What is that? Is that sea urchin? Is that what sea urchin is called? Would I eat uni? Is that sea urchin? Probably. I probably would. Normal fast, but you're essentially harvesting an animal. Like we are breaking a crab in half and eating its insides and guts. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, come on. It's like, I'm Southern. It's like, we do, you know, crawfish boils and stuff. And you're like sucking out the head juices and everything out of them and eating the tail meat. So, I mean, oh, it's <laughs> sea urchin testicles, huh? Oh, oh, <laughs> I mean, you know, is it raw? Is it served raw? Because that may be, that it's like, that's where things start to get a little weird, is when you venture into raw territory. Like, fish is one thing. Like, raw fish, um, that's all right. You know what I mean? Like, prepared in sushi and stuff like that. Like, really good, high-grade tuna, salmon. Having those raws is, is okay. But, like, some things I'd be like, eh, meh, maybe. Yes, I do like I do like seafood. Yes, it's served raw. Yeah, that's one of those things where it's like I'd have to, I'd have to like be the, I'd have to have it in front of me like somebody else is eating. They're like, here, we'll try this, and be like, all right, well, it looks it looks okay, and I can like you know give it a smell and everything. Maybe eaten it, not known. Maybe, maybe I might have. I might have eaten it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> like usually, I don't know. It's like I've never like sought that sought that out is it usually with like is it usually prepared like in sushi and things like that or is it like its own thing it sounds kind of like caviar is it like a caviar but that would be like that would be the eggs not the not the bulls Tastecooking.com. What is, is that a video? Is that like a YouTube video? Will that tell me everything I need to know? Whoa, Johnny, did you just delete your link? Is there a, is there a Google moderator here? Oh, huh. well, I mean, we're honored to have you Google moderator team. Uh, welcome. It's a small, it's, it's a small stream we've got going on here. Not much going on, <laughs> but welcome. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have to DM me that. I don't know. Maybe links aren't allowed. I need to go ahead and make sure I've got all my settings tweaked. You got moderated. Okay. Um, that's weird since you're a moderator on this stream. I have to. I will have to go and look at my settings and make sure that it's not like an auto mod feature, which I'm guessing is what it is. Um, but I mean, hey, Google moderation team, if you're out there, make sure you leave a like for me real quick. I mean, it'd help out a lot. Uh, you know, I'm trying to bring some popularity to your platform here. So, hey, you know, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Share, subscribe, all the things you do on the YouTubes. 
Ugh. Man, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll look into that afterwards, Johnny, and see if I can figure out what happened with that. Let me see. Can I click on this and fire, figure out what's going on? Oh, it looks like there's a remove moder. Is it a remove moderator or remove the moderation that was put on that? I don't know. I'm not going to click it because I don't want to take away your moderation. I'm just going to double check. I'm just going to double check it and see see what happened there. I'm pretty sure it's probably like an auto mod feature. There is no way. There is no way Google's got somebody sitting here watching this stream. I feel like it. Maybe someday. I mean, that's a dream, right? Where it's like even the people who work there are like, yo, I want to go check out that Valentine's stream, though. Play some good games. He has a good time. He's not very good at Apex, but, you know. <laughs> we can't all be Apex sweats, right? Hmm. See, now I want to go back to back to that other one here. Yes, yeah, so I'll look into that. I'll look into that, and we'll figure out we'll figure out what's going on there, Johnny, and make sure that you're that you didn't break some break some rule of the of the YouTube's, <laughs> or if it just got an auto mod going. And yeah. So, we're going to wrap it here. We're going to wrap it up here. Um, I'll probably be back. Um, I may be over on the purple platform on Monday. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, definitely need to at least try to communicate to everybody who's over there and kind of let them know that, you know, I may not be over there as much anymore. <laughs> um so that way anybody who does who does want to watch at least knows where i'm at you know where i'm going to be streaming and uh now yeah, we can continue on this new adventure that we're on over here on a new platform so digging it so far um game was great tonight i had a fantastic time thank you for everybody who came out everybody who uh dropped the likes and all that good stuff you guys are fantastic thank you so much i appreciate it i will be catching you guys around you guys know where to find me uh you can contact me through you know the sources that there are <laughs> i'll be getting more information uh posted in my descriptions from now on about ways to reach me through like twitter and things like that um so that way we can you know we can stay in touch and whatnot uh as other means become unavailable to me so you guys thank you devotion i appreciate you being here all of you guys for being here and until i see you next time which again probably on monday we'll see though i don't know my name is jer i'm the last valentine and i'll see you guys on the next stream Thank you all and have a wonderful evening.